We're in Lisbon, in front of the famous Geronimus Monastery. These taxis, which you see here, look just like any other city taxi, but in fact, there's something special about them. Good morning. What's so special about this taxi? This tax is equipped with a device aimed at reducing fuel consumption. It consumes one litre less fuel per 100 kilometres and exhaust emissions are cut too. It's great for me because it's both environmentally friendly and allows me to cut my fuel consumption. Called Ultimate Cell, the device is produced by a small Portuguese company. Connected to the car's electrical system, it uses the energy produced by the battery. Manufacturers claim that using it can lead to a drop in fuel consumption of up to 30% and reduce exhaust emissions by up to 65%. Moreover, it's compatible with almost every kind of engine, including diesel, gasoline, biodiesel and GPL. The ultimate cell is produced and tested in this lab. How does it work? When the engine starts, the device initiates an electronically controlled electrolysis process resulting in the chemical separation of the hydrogen molecules that will be fed into the engine's air intake. The hydrogen goes into the engine's combustion chamber along with the air and mixes with the fuel, reducing the amount of fuel needed. With this kind of technology, these small bubbles of hydrogen injected into the inlet, the combustion process is much more complete, giving the car more power, so it can go further with the same amount of fuel, which means you consume up to 30% less fuel. All the units are tested before being put onto the market. In the past, engineers have often worked on developing new technologies involving the use of hydrogen in cars, but always as fuel and not as a combustion optimizer, according to this electrical engineering professor. This technological approach is based on hydrogen. Hydrogen technology has been explored over many years, but always using hydrogen as fuel. That's not the idea here. This device is simple. It does not require pressurized tanks, storing large amounts of hydrogen or large investments. This is a small investment for the consumer. A number of fishing boats, which normally have high fuel costs, have also been equipped with the device. An average fishing vessel uses an estimated 140 litres of diesel per hour. Those using the ultimate cell device have noted a 20% drop in fuel consumption. And the driver of this lorry says he too has noticed an improvement in engine performance and efficiency, leading to a smoother and quieter driving experience. After the device hit the market early this year, some 5,000 units have so far been sold at a cost of around 300 euros apiece. Each unit will last about 70,000 kilometers, after which it will need to be recharged. <laughs>